He's the lead singer of the heavy metal band Guar. He's odorous. Back in the green room, getting ready to go. Putting on war paint. <laughs> he will come out, and uh, we'll talk to him for a little bit. He's going to sit in McLovin's chair. He would like to be a Danette for a day. I was hoping it would be Brooklyn Decker or Chrissy Teigen or Kate Upton. Nope. We got the lead singer of Guar. Come on in, man. Come check out the man cave, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, so, man. I'm sure you've seen we got... Can you get in? Can you fit? Can you get a little hand I never thought we'd have this issue. <laughs> got the hoop. Yeah. You know the wall of morale right there. Pretty sweet. Am I dreaming? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this isn't a cave at all. <laughs> if this is a cave, I want to get your interior decorator's number. Mine looks like crap compared Here to this go. one. What do you think of this? Whoa! Daniel Patrick! <laughs> you are my second favorite Daniel after Daniel Boone, famous frontiersman. Odorous, the uh, lead singer. I can't hear a word he's saying. This thing's all screwed. <laughs> Hello, hi, hi, Dan. It's hey. great to be on the show. <laughs> it's great to be on the show. Good to, good to see you, Odorous. Right? Uh, this microphone is dead. No, no, you're good. It blew up. No, no, you're good. You're looking good. Whoa, okay, great. Uh, a big fan of the show, apparently. Uh, you're well-versed in wanting to be a Danette. So when you're on the road, you're watching the uh, program? Well, actually, um, I listen to it more often than I watch it. Um, in fact, I was uh, just commenting to Fritzy. I thought Fritzy was a heck of a lot fatter than he really is. <laughs> if you were going to describe a Guar performance, somebody who hasn't seen the performance, how would you give me Cliff Notes version of what they could expect? Well, it depends on if it was somebody I liked or not. If it was someone I didn't like, I would lie to them and say it was very much like uh, the tribute to Don Ho show that's going on at some crappy casino in Las Vegas. For someone that I did like, like you, Dan, I would say we are the ultimate shock rock metal theatrical extravaganza band combining political satire, hideous medieval torture methods. If there was a, uh, a band off between you and Kiss as far as just better look. Oh, well... You know, what can I say about Kiss? Um, I pretty much stole everything from them. Uh, I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> does, does Gene Simmons know well, this? There's one thing I will do uh, with Guar that, 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 I will, that Kiss did that I, will, that I will never do, and that's make money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also me... won't lie to my fans and say that it's uh, the last tour ever and then just do it again <laughs> next year for twice as much money. You're going to be our uh, temp for the day sitting in for McLovin. Oh, wow, that's great. Yes. Have you ever had Lemmy from Motorhead on the show? No, I have not, but uh, that that's a legend. He's a legend. Yes, He's he... a legend. I met him one time. I was, I'd just done a show at uh, the Palace in Hollywood. I stumbled off stage, covered in blood. <laughs> uh, Lemmy came up to me, and he said, I hope I'll never have to work that hard. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the wall of morale here? You, uh, oh, I love it. You, you know, I've, I've, as I said many times, oh, oh my, I hadn't seen that one before. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, Fritz. what is up with the latest cover of Sports Illustrated anyway? I mean, that is ridiculous. Wait, you're hitting Fritzy in the head with your wings I'm there. I'm getting very close to yeah. oh, getting an Fritzy. eye taken. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, I like the, uh, like the suit. How many of those do you have? Um, I just pretty much make one or get my slaves to make them for me, mm. and I just basically wear it until it rots off of my body. This one has got um, about only about two tours on it, and I'll have you guys know that ever since the unfortunate incident on the Amos and Anthony show, we actually doused this thing in about eight gallons of Febreze last night before it went in the costume box. Well, I thought that's where you got your name odorous because when I walked in there when you were getting dressed, I, I got to be honest, it smelled like a locker room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we owe a lot to uh, the National Hockey League and to NFL <laughs> football. You know, I'm always suited up, you know, Dan. That's the kind of – I always got the pads on. That's the kind of guy I am. That's how I roll. Always ready to – you know, get in there, do the big play, and fail miserably. All right. He's uh, odorous, literally odorous from uh, Guar, the lead singer joining us here. All right, go around the room, best and worst of the weekend. Odorous, uh, your best and worst of the weekend. I'm, I'm afraid to ask, but I will. No, 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 it's okay, Dan. Well, my, my worst thing that happened over the weekend, I wasn't sure if it was a weekend, but uh, was the early exit of my VCU Rams mm. from the NCAA tournament. I was really looking forward to Richmond going up in flames again, but uh, the exit at the time, we won't have any riots this year. The best thing that happened this week is Peyton Manning didn't sign with the Washington Redskins. Whoa. 
Yeah, that's you're a Redskins fan, Because of the Redskins. That's, that's good for Peyton Manning. Do some work over there, Guar. <laughs> I love you, Dan. All right, let's try this again. Do I even need these anymore? Well, if you can, so it's just I'm not, getting, I'm not getting any level in this thing yet. Oh, complete air ball. <laughs> don't you dare tell anyone you about that. You want that one back, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you want that one back. Okay, yeah, back. I, you know, I'm just getting used to stuff, the gravity. Oh, come on, I had the right line. Do you have any, do you have any talent, basketball, uh, sports-wise? No, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get closer. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Yeah! We have the lead singer, Odorous, from uh, Guar. He will update the poll results. He's sitting in McLovin's seat. Judging from what he's got on underneath, do not stand up either, Odorous. <laughs> uh, McLovin may not want to sit in that seat when he comes back. Odorous, can you update the poll results uh, from the first two hours? Well, I certainly can. Uh, what's in better shape, you or your brackets? <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a landslide right now. 72% me. 72% of people are doing better than their brackets are doing. All right. Well well done. Well done, I did Otis. okay. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Otis, you ever called in sick to a show? Oh, well, that's a, a requisite of any gua I have to be sick before they'll let me on stage. <laughs> there is bloodshed in a uh, gua show. Yes. Well, you know, true, but it's, you know, it's all voluntary. You know, they go there knowing full well they might get an axe through their head. Um, they have to sign a release. Uh, we we do appreciate you stopping in and uh, filling in for for McLovin. Uh, where can they? Uh, where, where's Guar going to be performing next? We are on our way to a lovely Boston, one of the greatest sports towns in this fair country, uh, doing the second leg of our big return of the World Maggot Tour. <laughs> and uh, we'll be rampaging across country doing that. But I also wanted to quickly plug my new television show, Holliston, the FearNet first original series on that cable channel. I portray the lead ca lead si uh, lead singer. I'm the lead singer. Anyway, I'm on a show called Holliston that's coming up, and they told me to plug it, so I just did. Thank you, Odors. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Thank you, Danettes. Thank you very much for having me today. Hail Guar. Hail Flatus. Uh, Peter King from Sports <laughs> Illustrated. Next hour. Odorous, living up to his name. He's going to leave the odor with us, he said. A nice parting gift. Final hour coming up. Dan Patrick Show.